On this week's episode, hear about how you can see Too Short in Corvallis while supporting a good cause. And also, stay tuned to get the latest from Portland hip-hop artist Blase and his new mixtape. Only on Bombshell Music News. Hey there all you music fans, welcome to this week's episode of Bombshell Music News on the one and only KBVR. I'm Courtney Cassette. And I'm Camille Field. And we're your Bombshell hosts, here to give you the latest scoop on all things music in Oregon and the Pacific Northwest. Our Bombshell correspondent, Sierra Lever, got the opportunity to sit down with Portland hip-hop artist Blase to get inside information on his new mixtape, Room and Board dropping February 29th. Welcome back, Bombshells. I'm Sierra Lieber, and I'm here with the Portland-based rapper, Blase. How are you doing tonight? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. That's good, you look great. Thank you. So I know that before when you first started, you went by the name of Sideways. Mm -hmm. Now, where did Blase come from, and why the name change? So originally, I, I went by the name Sideways, and honestly, I had to change my name because I was getting a, a lot of negative feedback from the name Sideways. People would ask me like, well, are you not straight or what's the situation with that? And so I was at an early enough age that I could just, you know, get rid of it and hopefully just never come back. And fortunately, it's here. It, it seems like it's here to stay, but hopefully I'll get rid of that. Um, and, and also, I got the name Blase from a mentor at the time. Um, a lot of people would tell me, like, oh, you rap good. And that, and a term they would use is, like, you spit fire. You spit fire. And I would just always, I mean, I was I was young and didn't want to come out as sounding cocky or anything like that. So I would just be like, man, whatever. Like, no, whatever. And one day my mentor told me, like, man, you hot. You spit fire. I was like, whatever. And he was like, whatever. Blase. 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 You spit fire. And, and I just kept it ever since. And I kept it ever since. And it, it was just here. That's what it was. Okay. Well, I like the name Blase. Thank you. And when you, when was the first moment that you knew you wanted to pursue music? Um, well, I, I first wanted to pursue music um, real early. My brothers used to make music, actually. My brothers and my cousin, um, Eddie, and they would make music and I would sit in, in the studio with them and just watch them do what they were doing. And at the time, I just thought everything they were doing was cool. So when I was looking up to them, I just automatically followed in their footsteps. I would call my brother in the morning before school, like, look what I wrote, look what I wrote. And he was just like, bro, I don't care. but. I mean, <laughs> eventually it just, it became, it became what I knew that I wanted to do for sure. Okay, so your brother was an early influence, and mm -hmm. now, who are some other influences, and who's basically your team, your support team? Mm -hmm. uh, um, really, a, a big musical influence right now is actually Kanye West, just because mm -hmm. of the way that he carries himself in the actual musical genius he actually is like a lot of artists um make music and a lot of artists make songs but i respect his um artistry just because of the way he actually puts in the effort and the way he actually puts together the piece of music um, um also my my family is a support system just because of um you know a lot of people can tell you you know that you, you're gonna go somewhere, you're gonna do something big, but my family, like my mom and my sister, they motivate me, but yet still keep me grounded and mm -hmm. make sure that no matter what's gonna happen, that that I'm out there doing the right thing. So that's what I would say. That's good, that's good. Um, now I saw the YouTube clip mm -hmm. with Ice Cube's son, mm -hmm. OMG. Mm -hmm. How did that opportunity come about? So I've known um, O'Shea, well OMG for a while now. Um, actually, um, one of my one of my friends, Brittany Marcel, she uh, went to school at USC, and he also went to school at USC. But she got us connected. We started talking, and we just been friends ever since. So we've been friends for a couple years. So that's how that came about. I could tell that the way you guys rap is, is 
fairly different, but can we expect a song on YouTube together? Oh yeah, we um, we actually did a song while I was down there um, that is coming out on my, uh, my mixtape that's dropping. And speaking of your mixtape, Room and Board, mm -hmm. when can we expect that to come out? Room and Board is definitely dropping before the winter is over. It's definitely dropping, so sometime really, really soon. I can't say an exact date, but sometime really, really soon. Okay. For you. For you. <laughs> so how how are ways for people to listen to your music right now? You know, like you guys know, you can go to livewireforever.com or you could go to my website, whothatkid.com, like W-H-O-T-H-A-T-K-I-D.com. Or you can follow me on Twitter, that kid blaze on, you know, the hyphen's not there, but it's really blase, but that kid blaze and well, do you think that you can give us a freestyle or a verse of a song that you you have? Uh, me and my label mate, Joe Vey, we uh, did a song called Fantasy Girl, and I said, um, my fantasy girl so clean that Alexander McQueen, she trying to be fly as me. I tell her all the time, like, baby, I'm on the grind. And she act like a tourist because she just be trying to see. She tell me talk cheap, but mistakes going to cost you gas. My bro, Ja, told the brother I love her because she bad than the mother. She smart than the mother. She cook like a mother. Now I'm kin to her mother in her favorite color purple. Eyes like brown, but she always got red on the bottom of them heels. Nice, clear face. She ain't got no moles, but she thick. Get that booty and mark her beauty for real. I'm just trying to see if she ready to live. Of life to you on this game we could travel around the world we'll be in first class right after your first class invite you to my dreams you my fantasy girl mm. okay. that was it. That was well mm. thank you so much thank for joining you. me tonight yeah, thank and you. this is blase everyone go ahead and check him out as well as jove thank you thanks sierra don't forget to check out Blase's album, available online February 29th. We have to take a quick break, but don't move a muscle because we will be back in two with more music news. Don't worry, you can relax now. We're back with this week's dish on everything music. Mark your calendars for March 9th because you are not going to want to miss this. Too Short will be performing a special concert at Benton Fairgrounds here in Corvallis, Oregon with all proceeds from the concert benefiting the family of former Oregon State student Fred Thompson. Thompson was in his freshman year here at Oregon State when he died a sudden death at just 19 years old. Thompson was playing basketball at Dixon Recreation Center on the university campus when he collapsed. He was pronounced dead at Good Samaritan Hospital in Corvallis. Thompson was a defensive tackle for the Beavers football team and was expected to compete for a starting role this upcoming season. Too Short has over 30 years of experience in the entertainment industry and includes 19 albums, 10 of which have earned gold and or platinum plaques. But his story is as epic as any other. Born in LA, he moved to Oakland at the age of 14 where he met early collaborator Freddie B and began one of the most storied careers in hip-hop history. By 1981, the two had turned their rap hobby into a thriving independent enterprise by selling cassettes of Two Shorts raps for five bucks a pop in the streets of East Oakland. The rest is history. Two Short had the biggest record of his career at the age of 40 and blow the whistle, and he proves to not be stopping anytime soon. So come out and see this pioneer and legend perform on March 9th starting at 7 p.m. for only $25 at the door. Or get your tickets ahead of time for $15 with the after party being at Sub-Zero. If you're looking for a relaxing night filled with an award-winning performer, be sure to check out Fireworks Restaurant tonight, February 24th at 8 p.m. Hailing from Eugene, singer-songwriter Jesse Mead will be showcasing his talent with his acoustic guitar and scratchy yet soothing voice. As reported by jessemead.com, he won Best Solo Performer for Eugene Weekly's Best of Eugene for the year 2010 to 2011, so you can expect a top-notch show. Currently, Mead is touring the Eugene, Corvallis, and Rosebook areas. He claims his influence includes the likes of everyone from Ray Charles to Aretha Franklin, which can be seen through his powerful and rugged vocals. 
Fireworks is located at 1115 Southeast 3rd Street in Southtown Corvallis, and admission is free. After the show, you can catch Jesse Mead next to at Cornucopia Bar in Eugene on Tuesday, February 28th at 9.30 p.m. Do you love the show American Idol? Do you want to attend some American Idol parties? Well, here's your chance. A recent graduate from Oregon State University has made it into the top 42 contestants of the hit show American Idol. Haley Johnson graduated in the fall and entered the American Idol contest in Portland. While at OSU, Johnson worked at eCafe and Kelly Engineering Center for the four years that she was a student. She also was involved in the group Divine and was in the Glee Club. Viewings of the rest of the season will take place in the Memorial Union Commons with big screens and large speakers where you can join other Oregon State students and fans cheer on Haley. These viewings will start on Wednesday, February 22nd at 8 p.m. and will be held every Wednesday and Thursday night at the same time, as well as an additional Tuesday show on the 28th, which is American Idol's 400th episode. This past Friday, February 17th at 9.30 p.m., Bombs Away Cafe hosted Portland-based band Sarsaparilla. While the group definitely has a punk indie flair, their roots sound like American infused with folk. According to the band's website, their latest all album, The Darndest Thing, quote, finds this five-piece band slowing things down a bit and growing up musically, end quote. Currently, the band is in the middle of its tour, which includes stops in Oregon, Washington, and even Idaho. According to the Bombs Away Cafe Facebook page, Sarsaparilla is, quote, an excellent live band to see and dance to, end quote. On top of the already fun-filled night, the restaurant also had a Pyramid Brewing promo that night, so the crowd was not only able to listen to incredible music, but talk to beer experts get free swag, and eat great food as well. Overall, it could be concluded that it was a fantastic evening event. Contrary to popular belief, professors do have lives outside of school. A group of our own OSU professors have even taken time to develop their talents in the world of music. The Oregon State University faculty will be holding a special voice recital at the first congressional UCC in Corvallis. Admission to the concert will, is only $15, but will be benefiting OSU Vocal Studies. To find dates, check the OSU calendar and come out and see if your instructor or professor has the vocals of a star. Okay, music lovers, hang tight because we'll be right back with more beats. us, music addicts. Some of our bombshells hit the streets of Corvallis last weekend in search of the best local talent. Stay tuned to check out who they discovered. Hey Beaver fans, it's Sierra here. I'm at Bombsway Cafe here to see 100 Watt Mind. One hundred watt mind. Um, will you guys introduce yourselves and tell me what your role is in the band? Uh, my name is Nathan Herlocker. I play bass. I'm Robert Morris. I play drums. I'm Skylar Sculio. I play guitar. Bernadine. I play rhythm guitar and sing. Will you tell me a little bit about your guys' music? What what inspires you? What what type of music is it? Like garage rock. Like. Uh, it's kind of like a mix between blues and punk, it's sort of like the White Stripes or MC5 or Led Zeppelin, sort of like that. What got you guys started? Uh, her and I met at an open mic, and uh, we started the band a couple years ago, and then these guys joined, and uh, he plays he plays drums, he's really good, and he started playing bass about two weeks ago, but he's also very awesome. I saw that you guys are from Ashland. I'm also from Ashland, so I was really curious to know where was the open mic in Ashland? Uh, is that Alex's? Cool. There's kind of a story behind your name. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? I was in this other band when I was 16 in high school uh, called the Cobras, and we were uh, rebels. <laughs> anyway, um, 
we met the bass player's dad one time, and he didn't like us very much. And he said, he said, son, you got a hundred watt mind, and you're hanging out with kids who have twenty watt minds, and you get hanging out with kids who have hundred watt minds. So uh, to be kind of uh, Joking, joking in a way, we named it 100 Watt Mine. That, that's a really fun story. Do you guys have a CD out right now? Uh, we have one called No Makeup, and then the other one is uh, 100 Watt Mine Live in Arcata. Where can we find that from you guys? Yeah, Reverb Nation and uh, Facebook.com slash 100 Watt Mine. It's on YouTube as well. Cool. Yeah. Any upcoming shows that you guys have that you want to let our audience know about? We're playing March 1st at the Ashland Armory. Um, we're opening for the Eric McFadden Trio. That's going to be really awesome. Yeah. We're, all, we're also playing uh, March 2nd in Portland at the No cool. Bar in Portland. Cool. Thanks so much. I look forward to hearing you guys and have a great set. All right. was 100 watt mine. I hope you enjoyed it and now back to you guys at the studio. And now here to tell you about this weekend's must-see events is Patrick Mick. I'm Patrick Mick and I'm a rich gangster. Friday night like always has much to offer and tonight Friday February 24th at 7 30 p.m. OSU's very own Brass Ensemble will be playing a free show at the MU Lounge. Other events this evening will also be going on such as the local DJs who will be having a reggae night at Cloud9, and at 8 p.m., Fireworks will be hosting Jesse Mead, the blues artist with his own finger style. At 10 p.m. at Bombs Away Cafe, the Scott Pemberton Trio, a group that unfolds like an awesome date, will perform Saturday night, February 25th. will feature Old Age and the group, the We Shared Milk, the so-called mega epic indie rock at Cloud9. Those who like blues and folk will find themselves at home at the 2nd Street Brewery where Carl Smiley will be playing at 8 p.m. Or if you want jazz, the formerly Heinz will be playing at Fireworks, also at 8 p.m. At 10, for only $5, Bombs Away Cafe will feature local rockers Black Market Oregon Drive and Portland Power Pop in Bloom who will be releasing their new CD. Not much is happening Sunday night, February 26th, but good old Harrison's has its open jam, and Fireworks will be featuring Cloud Mountain Ramblers, an old-time string band. But shouldn't you be studying for midterms? Well, that's all the music news we have for you this week, Corvallis. But be sure to tune in next week for all new interviews, stories, and of course, to see us. See you next week.